to learn a language is difficult, but to learn a language on the level that you understand and be understood on basic level is simple. A couple of weeks might be enough. Motivation is decisive. Uh, basic grammar structures are decisive. Uh, repeating them every day just for a couple of minutes, at least for a couple of minutes, is also decisive. Just realize that 350 words make 90% of our everyday speech. 60 words out of this 350 words are verbs. Let's look uh, at the structure of Slovak verbs on the example of one of them. A verb žiť, to live, in its present, past and future. In its negative and uh, question forms. Just repeat after me and don't worry if uh, you're not completely satisfied with yourself. Uh, you're just still getting used to Slovak uh, sounds, to Slovak pronunciation. So whatever it sounds, it is okay. So let's start. This is the most complicated structure in Slovak language. Learn it by heart and you learn half a language. So repeat after me. Ja žijem, ty žiješ, on žije, ona žije. Past tense. Ja som žil, if I talk, if I am a man. Ja som žila, if I am a woman. Ty si žil, if I talk to a man. Ty si žila, if I talk to a woman. On žil, he lived. Ona žila, she lived. Future. Ja budem žiť. Ty budeš žiť. Ona bude žiť. And now in plural. Mi žijeme. Vy žijete. Oni žijú. Oni žijú. Oni, if they are men. Oni, if they are women. Past. My sme žili. Vy ste žili. Oni, oni žili. Oni, again, if they are men. Oni, if they are women. Future. My budeme žiť. Vy budeme, budete žiť. One more time. My budeme žiť, vy budete žiť, oni, oni budú žiť. So just one more time. Learn it by heart and you know half a language. From a negative in Slovak language is very simple. Just put ne before the verb like this. Ja ne žijem, ty ne žiješ, on, ona ne žije, plural. Mi ne žijeme, vi ne žijete, oni, oni ne žiju. Past. Ja som ne žil, again, if I talk, uh, if I am a man. Uh, ja som ne žila, if I am a woman. Past past uh, the second person. Ty si ne žil, ty si ne žila, on ne žil, ona ne žila. Plural. My sme ne žili, vy ste ne žili, oni, oni ne žili. Future. Ja ne budem žiť, ty ne budeš žiť, on, ona ne bude žiť. Future. My ne budeme žiť, Vy ne budete žiť, oni, oni ne budú žiť. 
Making questions in Slovak language is very, very simple, just with the help of intonation, like this. Ja žijem, ty žiješ, on, ona žije, plural. Mi žijeme, vi žijete, oni, oni žiju, past. Ja som žil, ja som žila, ty si žil, ty si žila, on žil, ona žila, past plural. Mi sme žili, vi ste žili, oni, oni žili, future. Ja budem žiť, ty budeš žiť, on, ona bude žiť, future plural. My budeme žiť, vy budete žiť, on, ona budú žiť. The other verb lubit, used for both, like and love in Slovak. It is changing according to a very simple pattern. Uh, just repeat after me. Ja lubim, ti lubiš, on, ona lubi, plural. Mi lubime, vi lubite, oni, oni lubia, past. Ja som lubil. Sorry, before we move to the past, I would like to say that uh, present ten tense of the verb lubit is a little different from the first verb, žiť. Um, but the past is really the same. We just change the last letter of the infinitive T for li, like in the first pattern. So for the verb lubit, the past will be like this. Ja som lubil, infinitive is lubit, the last T is changed for li, if I am a man, but if I am a woman, the ending R is added. Ja som lubila. The same for the second person. Ti si lubil. If I talk to a man. Ti si lubila. If I talk to a woman. The same for the third person. On lubil. He loved. Ona lubila. She loved. For all plurals, E is added. Mizme lubili. Vi ste lubili, oni, oni lubili. One more time, oni if we talk about men, oni if we talk about women. Future is the simplest. You just change the verb. Budem, budeš, bude, budeme, budete, budu. And add infinitive to it. Exactly like in the first example of the verb, word, verb, žiť. Ja. Budem lubit, ty budeš lubit, oni, oni, on, ona bude lubit, uh, plural, mi budeme lubit, vi budete lubit, oni, oni budu lubit. Just one more time, future. Ja budem lubit, ty budeš lubit, on, ona bude lubit, uh, plural, future. Mi budeme lubit, vi budete lubit, oni, oni budu lubit. And one more verb out of this 50 basic verbs. Vediet, to know, very important word. Um, the present tense is again a little different, but short. So uh, it, is, it will be easy to learn it by heart. So just repeat after me. Ja viem, ty vieš, on vie, my vieme, vi viete, oni, oni vedia. And now past is exactly the same. Like uh, in the previous cases, you just change a T of the infinitive for li. And add a for Women and E for plural. So, ja som vedel, ja som vedela, ty si vedel, ty si vedela, on vedel, ona vedela, my sme vedeli, vy ste vedeli, oni, oni vedeli.
Future is the simplest. Ja budem vedieť, ty budeš vedieť, on, ona bude vedieť, my budeme vedieť, vy budete vedieť, oni, oni budú vedieť. Negative is formed exactly the same, just put uh, place um, nie before the verb. Ja neviem. Very important word. I don't know. Ja neviem. For present tense. Ty nevieš. On nevie. My nevieme. Vy neviete. Oni, oni, oni nevedia. It's a little difficult. Past tense. Ja som vedel, ja som vedela, ty si vedel, ty si vedela, on vedel, ona vedela, my sme vedeli, vy ste vedeli, oni, oni vedeli. Future. Oh, Just confused a little bit. OK, so past. Ja som nevedel. Ja yeah, yeah. forming negative. Ja som nevedel, ja som nevedela, ty si nevedel, ty si nevedela, on Nevedel, ona nevedela. My sme nevedeli, vy ste nevedeli, oni, oni nevedeli. Future. Ja nebudem vedieť, ty nebudeš vedieť. On, ona nebude vedieť. My nebudeme vedieť, vy nebudete vedieť. Oni, oni nebudú vedieť. A question is from just with the help of intonation. Ja viem. Do I know? Ty vieš? On vie? Vy, my vieme, my vieme, vy viete, oni, oni vedie, past, ja som vedel, ja som vedela, and so on. It's simple. And before we move to practice, one more word, very important word, pracovať, to work. Ja pracujem. Ty pracuješ, on pracuje, my pracujeme, vy pracujete, oni, oni pracujú. Past tense. Ja som pracoval, ja som pracovala, ty si pracoval, ty si pracovala, on pracoval, ona pracovala, plural. My sme pracovali, vy ste pracovali, oni, oni pracovali. Future. Ja budem pracovať, ty budeš pracovať, on, ona bude pracovať. My budeme pracovať, vy budete pracovať, oni, oni budú pracovať. Negative is uh, formed exactly in the same way. Ja nepracujem, ty nepracuješ, on nepracuje, my nepracujeme, vy nepracujete, oni, oni nepracujú. And so on. Um, question is formed by intonation. Pracujem ja? Ja pracujem. Ty pracuješ? On pracuje. Uh, word order is not fixed in Slovak language. Therefore, uh, you can change this word order and even Uh, very often in Slovak language we omit the pronoun. So you can say ja pracujem or you can say pracujem ja or you just can omit this pronoun and just say pracujem uh, or you can say pracuješ and so on. That is important to realize sometimes it happens quite often. So Uh, when, we, when we may make questions, we also have to know question words. So let's learn them as well. Who, kto, what, čo, where, kde, where to, kam, when, kedy, why, prečo, from where, odkiel, how, ako, how much, how many, Koľko? So one more time. Kto, čo, kde, kam, kedy, prečo, odkiaľ, ako, koľko? Very important words. A couple of more helpful words. Yesterday. 
вчера, today, днес, tomorrow, завтра, now, teraz. Uh, let's look uh, at the pronunciation of these words. Вчера. Uh, v, Ч is very difficult to pronounce, so we say F instead of V. It is because it's easier for our tongue. Вчера. Вчера. Днес. D sounds very lightly because it's also very difficult to pronounce днес. Днес. So very, very short D. Днес. It sounds, but very, very lightly. Zaitre is okay. Teras. Again, it's quite difficult to pro for, for a tongue. Uh, to pronounce teras, so we just say teras, teras, very important for us. And now practice, at last. So at first try to translate from Slovak, no, sorry, from English into Slovak. What do you know? Where will she live? Gde ona bude žit? Where is he working now? Gde on pracuje teraz? When are you going to work? Kde ti budeš pracovať? Who is going to work tomorrow? Kto bude pracovať zajtra? Why does she work? Prečo ona pracuje? Who is not working now? Kto teraz nepracuje? What do you know? Čo ti vieš? Where will we work? Gde mi budeme pracovať? When is he going to sleep? Kedy on bude spať? And now let's translate vice versa from Slovak into English. It will be more interesting. Čo ty vieš? What do you know? Dva. Gde ona bude žiť? Where will she live? Tri. Tri. Uh, gde on pracuje teraz? Where is he working now? But this sentence Yeah, that is okay. This sentence is okay. But the next one will be more interesting. Kedy ty budeš pracovať? When are you going to work? We can omit the word uh, the pronoun T in Slovak sentence in so we can say just Kedy budeš pracovať Be uh, thanks to ending uh, we will understand who we are talking about so it's as I said before uh, in Slovak language we very often omit uh, pronouns but uh, there is uh, one more interesting point uh, the sentence for also could be translated by when will you work? Yes, so there is no difference between different futures in English language. In Slovak, it will be just one way. Kedy ty budeš pracovať? Or kedy budeš pracovať? Five. Kto bude pracovať zajtra? Who is going to work tomorrow? It's again. Uh, this sentence also could be translated like who will work tomorrow? No different in futures. Six. Prečo ona pracuje? Why does she work? But uh, there is also a possibility to translate it like where is she working? Oh, sorry. Why is she working? Uh, again, we don't distinguish between uh, simple and continuous in Slovak language. In Slovak, it's just one way. Prečo ona pracuje? It was six. Now it is seven. Kto teraz nepracuje? Who is not working now? Because thanks to word teraz, we know that it is continues. Eight. Čo ty vieš? What do you know? Nine. Kde my budeme pracovať? Where will we work? Or we also can say in Slovak, kde budeme pracovať? 
we can omit pronoun me. And the last one, kedy on bude spať, when is he going to sleep, or we just can uh, translate Slovak sentence by when will he sleep. Both translation are good. Now you try to fill the gaps and uh, don't worry if you make mistakes. The important thing just is to understand uh, the structure of Slovak language and then just uh, add more and more words into this beautiful system. So just try that. And don't worry about the mistakes. Any mistakes. So, um, what do you know? Where will she live? Где она будет жить? Three. Where is he working now? Где он працует teraz? Four. When are you going to work? Кеди будешь працовать? Five. Who is going to work tomorrow? Кто будет працовать завтра? Six. Why does she work? Пречо она працует? Seven. Who is not working now? Кто тераз не працует? Eight. What do you know? Что ты веш? Nine. Uh, where will we work? Где будем мы працовать? And the last one. When is he going to sleep? Кеди он будет спать? Again, don't worry about mistakes. Just try to understand. Uh, the system and to learn uh, basic words uh, by heart. That's not many, just 350. It's not many. Everybody can learn that. And now just for motivation, very, very important word, words, verbs, testovat, to travel, spat, to sleep, pit, to drink, yes, to eat. Very important, very interesting words, and there are a lot of very um, good sentences uh, with these words. But this is for the next lesson. Goodbye for today, and hope to see you again.